Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I'm going to show you guys a simple method to doing a knockdown patch. So right here I have a little 5x5 five five patch. It's quick set, it's just set up. I'm going to feather the edges quickly with a sponge so that we can't see any of the raised edges that I have on here. So I'm just dampening the edge and kind of wiping that away because it's faster and easier than sanding that edge away. Flatten that down a little. Okay, that looks passable now. Passable for texture. So I like this method because you can use something that most people are gonna have in their home. So what you need to find is any sort of bristle brush. And the important thing is, is that the bristles are long enough and firm enough. Because what we're gonna be doing is basically flinging the mud off the bristles and you'd be surprised at how well this actually works versus a whole lot of other methods. The spray cans however I found work better but let's get into this. So I've got some pretty thin down mud in here and I'm just gonna be dipping this thing into here like so. You guys that was actually the wrong patch that was my patch for splatter or orange peel. Okay but here's what we're gonna do. You just gotta really quickly run your hands across this real quick and do it on a practice spot first but here it is. Just reloaded. So it's not the exact same texture, but geez, it's pretty close. I was surprised when I saw this. I poached this off a USG video. This might actually look better than the knockdown I got going on already. Again, the trick is that just doing it really fast and making sure you have stiff bristles that bounce back. I'm going a little wider than my patch to help it blend a bit. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. All right, here's the part where it either goes awesome or you wreck it. So I've got a wet blade and I've given this a couple minutes to dry out a little bit so that just the ends are gonna be wet and all the rest of it has given this wall a little bit of texture. Okay, now it's time to knock it down. So, so gently and also with the convex side against the wall, I'm about to run my blade down. Now I'm gonna not touch that and paint it tomorrow and we'll see how it does. But that's pretty good, I mean, it looks like a knockdown, more or less. Just a little bit too spread out. I could have waited longer and added a bit more texture. I'm actually quite surprised with how well that silly splattery brushy method works for knockdown texture. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend in some of these edges and try and get rid of some of the noticeable splatters. That's it, I'm gonna paint it. So there's my oversprayed, overly flattened out knockdown that I tried. And here's my patch. Blends in pretty well if you ask me. It's not perfect, but I find it acceptable. I'm pretty satisfied with that method, all things considered. If you got a hole in the wall, you need to patch it and you need a quick texture and you don't want the investment of buying one of those cans, which I do think worked easier, then I think this is a great low investment method. One thing to consider is I would look for a better brush. Here's a picture of the brush from the USG video that I poached this method from, and you can see it's got long stiff bristles spread apart. If you don't have something like that handy at your house and you're having to go out and buy one just for this, at that point you may as well buy a can of spray texture. However, if you're in a pinch and you need to get some texture on a wall quick, it's good to have as many methods as possible in your mental toolbox. So here's one more for the books. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I'm pretty surprised to find that method and how well it works. I hope it's useful for you and until the next video.